So, hang on, we'll try and get this nicer. So I'm reading this book, Recollections of Huntley by George Gray, J.M. And uh, it was written in... It's 1892, so the original manuscript was written in 1892, yeah. And then this was released in 1953. So it's a town in Scotland called Huntley, and uh, they're rec recolle recolle recollectioning, recollecting uh, this guy's writings of 1892 in 1953. And the, the best thing about this is that I've never been to Huntley, so I've got no idea about any of this shit. Uh, what it was like in 1892, 1953, or indeed right now. I have no idea. But uh, this, uh, this chapter here made me laugh. Our most important industries were carried out by Messrs. George and James MacDonald, who belonged to the most enterprising family then in the place. Charles MacDonald, their brother, was an agent of the old Aberdeen Bank, the only bank in the town. Their extensive bleaching work gave employment to a good number of hands and, although beginning to decline, it still required three professional breachers, a night watchman, and a number of females. <laughs> Hello, how's it going? Who was lucky enough to see the special uh, video last week? Hello. Badges. The Humpty Dumpty Club. Yeah. That video was recorded and um, put up without my knowledge. Uh, I didn't realise it had happened until I got a, a comment from Charlton66 and I was like, holy shit. So yes. Don't drink and record. So we're in a new new house. Um, this is it, and yeah, uh, it's been cool. We moved in last uh, two days ago, so this we had our second night here last night. Um, I was a nightmare. This has been the worst move we've ever done. Uh, just moving wise, it was fucking horrible. But I'm in now, and it's cool because you start to find see stuff that's been packed away, and um, yeah, we're kind of just like living in boxes in a box city just now. But I found some cool books, uh, Recollections of Huntley, which you've seen already. I read that this morning. Uh, Events of the Great War. This is really cool because it's um, well, it's not really cool, but it was 1930. It was. Uh, released, written, or whatever. Um, so this is actually before the Second World War. So I need to read out, read up this and see what they're saying, because it must say at the end about how awful it was. And uh, The war was over on the Western Front, many a little ceremony, half religious, half military was held before noon along battlefields along the famous British his battlefields long ago famous in British history. Yeah, it just says the armies were almost too tired to rejoice. There's nothing about Yeah, never again anyway. So, yes, more books. I've been starting trying to read Pratchett, but I've just not I've not got into it this time. I've read both of these are the first two. I've read both of these before and I remember really enjoying them, uh, but it's not happening for me this time. I started this this morning, Whiff of Death by As Isaac Asimov. So it's like a crime one, 1958 or something. Um, I think this one's later, but the book was originally, it said it was released under a different name or something. Uh, come on, The Death Dealers. 1958. This is 1970, this one. It doesn't look like it's, well, maybe it has been read once. Really nice condition. And then there, this. I'm going to get into this next. Uh, Driving Over Lemons, an optimist in Andalusia. So Chris Stewart was the original drummer for Genesis, and I don't know if he ever actually was recorded. 
I don't know if there was any, any like anything ever released while he was the drummer, but he was the first drummer and he left the band anyway. But he sold up all his shit and bought a farm uh, in Andalusia, farming olives, I think, olive oil. And uh, yeah, this is a book. These are well, three books about it. Uh, Driving Over Lemons, Parrot in the Pepper Tree, and Almond Blossom Appreciation Society. But these are great. So I'm looking forward to uh, blasting through these again. I was chuffed when I found those. Yes, yeah, so that's books. Let's go and see uh, where I live, because it's pretty crazy. Okay, this is us outside. This is the, that's the pad right there. But yeah, check this place out. Not bad, is it? So we thought it would be better out here for the dogs. Um, and the neighbour was giving us grief because of the dogs barking. So he was being a bit of a cant. So we've fucked him off and moved out here. Um, yeah, he just kept like persistently knocking on the door and being like, your dogs were barking. I was like, well, son, yes, I get it. It must be very irritating for you. Almost as irritating as some fucker knocking on my door every night to tell me the fact that they've been barking. But yeah, uh, Christmas time, he came round and he said he was worried it was going to ruin his Christmas. And uh, yeah, that was the final straw. We're like, fuck you, mate, let's just go. So we left. But yes, um, I just, we're going up here. There's a castle. We live in the grounds of a castle. So we're heading there now. It was built in, I don't know when it was built. It was given to the Irving family, I can't remember his name now, uh, in like the 1300s. Robert the Bruce gave it to him. What's his name? Anyway, Irving family, and they held it for 700 years until they gave it to the National Trust in 1975. And I guess that's when, oh, you can't see my house anymore. I guess that's when my house was converted from a stable into my house. So that's cool. Um, this is longer than I thought it was gonna be away, but it's just here. Um, there's a car coming. I was gonna say, yeah, but there's ghosts, many ghosts. I was having a little look about ghost stories and stuff. So there's a guy, there's a child ghost. Um, little Alex, his name is six years old when he died and apparently you can hear him running around the the grounds out the front here uh alex irving irvine irving irvine i think it is i-r-v-i-n-e but apparently it's pretty busy up here but you wouldn't know it's a bank holiday you thought it would have been mobbed but i think there's like a restaurant and uh all that sorts of shit so let's go Oh fuck, I just had like a, like a powder, uh, root beer drink thing. Didn't even finish it, it was hardcore. But yeah, I'm tasting it now. It's called like dad's root beer or something. It was, don't think I'll be drinking another one. Oh, I can hear, I can hear little Alex. Or it could be a real life child. I'm not unsure yet. But yeah. says do not park on the grass verges. So this is Drum Castle, Scotland. So the older part, you can tell there's a, the older parts beside my dish. And then obviously when Robert the Bruce gave it to them, he, I don't need to be in this really, do I? When Robert the Bruce gave it to them, they must've built that bit. So, yeah, cool. I'll go and uh, go into the courtyard and you can have a look in there. I should really 
got a mask on, shouldn't I? I've got one, don't worry. Oh, fuck, am I gonna be able to do this in one hand? Should have gone the actual driveway and then you could have seen it better. some spooky plumbing. That's where the spooky plumbing is. And that's where you go for the spooky bathroom. Yeah, this is pretty sweet actually. Really old fucking. Well, it is really old. Cool. I wonder if people were beheaded out here. I bet they were. Okay, so the mask is coming off. So the castle. Cool. I'll um I'm gonna do a tour next week. But I can tell you the scariest thing about at the castle was the price at the kiosk. But they do ham and mustard sandwiches, so it's not all bad. But yes, also the uh the Amazon man was like, here, do you know where Stables Cottage is? I was like, yes, I do, that's my house. I will take that pa package from you, thank you very much. Oh, I'm just, I'm not really showing off Drum Castle. But yeah, there it goes, so. Pretty cool, huh? So we're in the grounds, this is, uh, belongs to the National Trust for Scotland. And there's like, this is all the gardens here. There's a sign. So yes, we will come, we'll try and come up at night when it's all spooky. Not this time, some other time. But yeah, we need to find little Alex. We can do a ghost, uh, what's it called? When they do a ghost investigation, we can do one here. That would be sweet, actually. Oh, I can buy all the bits. Yeah, all right, let's do that. Uh, what do I need? Like the EVP? Yeah, sweet. Let us do that. Anyway, I'm heading back to the house now and I'm gonna eat my sandwich. Um, so, I was just reading more, it's, um, oh shit, I just read his name again, William de Irving, that uh, got the castle from Robert the Bruce, and all the, gr and all the grounds, but I was just looking more on light, on uh, line for the ghost stories, it is little Alexander, who's the ghost up at the castle, and there's someone else, you can hear footsteps and all that sorts of shit, but there's a photo I've just found, and I'll put it here. It was taken by the, the gardeners on a webcam. They like set up wildlife camera or some shit. But I think it's just outside here. And there was, it's a strange mist. Now the only strange mist that's gonna be going on in here is coming from the bathroom after I've been in there. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a, a whiff of death, that mist. But let's see if we can find it. Cause it looks like there's like, little plastic things in the in the photo and I'm sure that's just there. So we'll go and see if we can see the strange mist right now. The gardeners might be in so we're gonna be quiet for the ghost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Look, this is like the thing that was in the photo. So the camera must be here somewhere. Or is it out the other side? This is where it looks like, wasn't it? And they maybe just set it on here. Strange mist in this area. And also, apparently, you can hear women laughing around here. So, yeah, ghosties. But that's cool, isn't it? But yes, we'll, we'll have to get some of that ghost equipment now. This is kind of like the yard. I think the gar it's the gardener's like offices and I guess bothy. Hello, Evie. Right. That's us, and we'll do more ghosty stuff next week. Say goodbye, Evie. Are you just peeping? No, you're not. Well done. Say bye. Bye. Say bye. Say bye. Bye. Say bye. Okay.